tired tonight. Yeah, spent yesterday on the houseboat with uh, Van Cliburn, Dick Van Dyke, and Van Johnson. Is that a naughty line? You look tired tonight. Yeah, spent yesterday on the houseboat with uh, Van Cliburn, Dick Van Dyke, and Van Johnson. That is a naughty line. That sounds like a fun group. Well, it was till a storm came up. Mm. First Van Cliburn fell overboard. Oh, That's a frightening thing to hear someone yell, Cliburn overboard! Excuse me. You recovered him, though, huh? Oh, sure. Then Van Johnson must have fallen, because the next thing I heard was, Johnson overboard! <laughs> Woo! And then? Well, then uh, Van Dyke must have fallen overboard, because I swear I heard... Uh, let's go to the party. You're all invited. Come on. <laughs> Speaking of cars, Boris and I almost had an accident last night, but fortunately, a policeman made us move on. <laughs> Moses may have dropped the tablets as he came down the mountain but you should not refer to them as the Rolling Stone. Hey, Goldie, do you like powdered milk? Well, I think it makes me sneeze. <laughs> what would you say if I were to take you to my apartment and... Um, yes, yes, and, uh, go on. That's what I was hoping you'd say. My daughter-in-law is an awful housekeeper. You ought to see my room. It's a mess. Oh, buddy! I hear that CBS is thinking of putting on a nude show version of Hee Haw. Once again, sex rears its ugly heads. <laughs> Teresa, I understand they're running an experiment in Washington. The congressmen are going to, a uh, few congressmen are going to live on welfare budget. Hmm. Well, I've got a better idea, Dan. Hmm. Let's have a few welfare people live on a congressman's budget. <laughs> My mother told me that girls shouldn't be kissed on a first date. But that doesn't bother me. I never go out with girls. <laughs> sex education in the schools have some parents uptight. They don't want their kids to fail, but on the other hand, they get pretty shook up when they come home with straight A's. <laughs> a group of hippies on campus solved their bathing problem. They moved into a five-day deodorant pad. <laughs> You know, we had an air pollution problem in London, but nobody knew about it because of the fog. I just finished my latest underground movie. It's all about a young man who rides his motorcycle nude over the roughest roads in America. I call it Uneasy Rider. <laughs> It is easier for the peacock to show its true colors than for the lion to swallow his pride. Industry has contributed so much to warfare, maybe they can get the Pentagon down to a four-day war week. 